chuck guards in place and lo and behold we're ready to start that spindle. Well, while that's going on, you can see not how simple, but how straightforward it was to enter that program information, simply because the machine itself takes you step by step through the operation. And even if you get it wrong, enter the wrong information, you haven't done any damage. You haven't, for example, damaged a multi-thousand pound machine tool on the factory floor. The worst you've done is to ruin part of your program, so you have to go back to square one. And clearly the dominant characteristic, the major selling point, if you like, of this machine is its computer control, and it brings with it a marvellous flexibility and enormous range of functions. Right, well, we've come to the end of that do loop, so let me see if I can illustrate some of those functions. Editing, for example. We're ready now for the uh, screw cutting operation, but say I've now changed my mind. I want to change the depth of cut, for example, from 0.08 millimetres to 0.05 millimetres. All I have to do is to call up the screw cutting page, and there it is. Operate the flying cursor until it's down opposite the cutting step. Enter the new information, 0.05. Enter. Right, now, I clearly want to save that on cassette. So let's go back to the original menu. Are there any program errors? No, indeed there aren't. Uh, there's the menu. Number two, enter. Wants to know if the cassette's loaded. Indeed it is. Wants an identification number, one, two, three, uh, six. Now, once that transfer is completed, we can run that operation. Let's look at some of the other functions that ORAC offers. Um, it offers, for example, circular interpolation, which means the tool can go in any direction, clockwise or counterclockwise, provided you feed in simply the X and Z coordinates of the end position and the radius. There's a dwell function, obviously a very common function that, so you can introduce a pause into any particular program. There's uh, a subroutine function, which means that you can repeat the complex parts of a program on any component without further programming. But what about things like uh, tool changing? Well, we've come at the moment to a point in the program where we need a tool change. That's indicated by the flying cursor being opposite the tool number. So let's go through the tool changing operation. Well, the spindle and the axes have already stopped, of course. So I can move the guard and then it's a simple uh, manual operation, removing the thread cutting tool, replacing it with the turning tool, locking it off, replacing the guard, and we can continue with the operation. ORAC has been given an even wider flexibility by building an RS-232 interface. Indeed, it's the first CNC training lathe of its kind to have such an interface, which means it can be tied in directly to a micro or mini computer so that programs can be written offline and transferred directly to the machine. Alternatively, group programs can be dumped onto the desktop computer and stored on floppy disk. And the computer that Denford markets with ORAC can actually generate toolpath graphics on its screen. If you want hard copy, then the same RS-232 interface can be used, uh, connected with a printer, so you can generate hard copy of your program. So altogether, a very complete package, a small machine, if you like, but with a hell of a lot going for it. Let me just underline briefly the four or five points that seem most important to me. There is that very distinctive computer interface. There's the very complete training package with the VDU screen on the control panel and that audio setup. There's the auxiliary input and output facility, which means that if you want, ORAC could be tied in to a robot. And of course, there's something I haven't mentioned very much about. There's the safety aspect. It's clearly much safer for anyone to train on a machine like this with all its inbuilt safety features rather than work on a fully blown shop floor machine tool. And tied in together with machines like Easy Mill and Easy Turn, you've got a very comprehensive, a very sophisticated training facility.